How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. A little bit of Hudson Valley River-ish kind of beer time, I believe. I think that's where these guys are from. In the form of Sloop Brewing, it is their Green Islands Tropical IPA. Um, first Sloop review. Um, I've had a couple of their beers, but mostly in kind of like wine sherry kind of situations. Uh, so I haven't really had much from these guys. And definitely not something I can just have by itself and kind of sit and kind of digest in its own glow. I don't even know what word I was trying to use there. But anyway, here we go. This actually comes courtesy of Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. He actually, um, uh, I picked him up some beer and he kind of threw this at me as a kind of like, thank you beer. So yeah, thank you beers healed the world. Or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, as far as what it says in the can, it says here, special edition double dry hop to Green Islands. Uh, tropical IPA, brewed with oats. It's a 6.5% alcohol by volume. And like I said, br Sloop Brewing, uh, Elizaville, New York. Um, Date-wise, I have no idea. There's no date on the can. Uh, it was Zeit. It's kind of like that, um, it's like, um, um, not emoji, kind of like iconish arc. Like the stuff you kind of see with somebody makes like kind of like a, um, like a, like a logo. New school kind of, I don't know. The stuff you see on your apps, like the logo that they're using it. Does that make any sense? New school kind of pop art. Let's put it that way. Uh, so, yeah, it's all right. I dig it. It's a little island with a little chair in it and a little umbrella. And there you go. It's in So, specific I am. Let's give this pour. Let's see what you got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw her in there. Generate a head, why don't you? Um, so, yeah. What do we have here? Figure and a half of the infinitely creamiest of creamy head. I mean, that is stuff that, you know, bits and pieces of people sleep on all the time. I don't know. Feeling weird today. Anyway, nice tight compact bubbles. Uh, just off white in color. And it actually has a kind of weird kind of alien skin gray orange brown thing going on there definitely doesn't look the part of a typical kind of new england style ipa it, it's more of kind of like a cream soda color to it um so yeah definitely not what you typically find in a lot of these kind of new england style tropical beers but you know looks do not a beer make let's see if we get a nose on her definitely smells the part um, I'm going to talk about tropical fruit in here. That's what you're getting. Uh, you're just getting kind of a, a fruit medley leaning tropical heavy. You know, you're getting your mango papaya kind of vibes going on there. A little bit of kiwi. But you're also getting a bit of peaches there. Probably a little bit more peach than citrus. And just kind of just a fruit medley leaning in that tropical side of things. But you're also getting this really nice kind of green character on it. It's 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 kind of running the game out of that kind of, kind of vegetal, tomato stocky, um, weed smoking, weed pulling kind of vibe to it. So it's a medley on both sides of, of uh, the spectrum when it comes to the way the hops are playing. You know, the sweetness of the beer, not overly sweet, but sweet enough to kind of give you those tropical fruity kind of vibes that are definitely kind of fruit leaning, not candied leaning, um, while at the same time giving you that nice greenness, but not very kind of specific in either direction. Like I said, yeah, kind of green, definitely green leaning, definitely tropical fruit leaning, but there's a lot more going on um, than just that. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's tasty. Um, it definitely foots the bill as far as the Hazebro Hop Fatty beers go. You're getting um, a nice kind of fruit component that's coming off more kind of. Um, uh, fruit juicy than candied fruity. Uh, you're getting that kind of green component that is still kind of muddled between a kind of vegetable tomato stocky thing to the kind of weed pulling, weed smoking kind of thing. Uh, there's a nice mouthfeel to it. There's a really nice creaminess to it. So those kind of oats are kind of shining through and giving it a nice kind of thick, dense kind of mouthfeel at the same time more fluffy than kind of uh, just super dense. It's tasty. It's nice. Like I said, it foots the bill, but it doesn't really have a super identity. Um, when I talk about a lot of these beers, they tend to be a little bit kind of uh, paint by numbers when it comes to the New England style uh, kind of IPA. They're trying to be somebody else's beer. I wouldn't necessarily put that in that that category, but somewhere a step above that. 
Um, it, it's definitely not in that upper tier, that upper echelon, or even that second tier. Um, I hate to kind of tier stuff like that. I'm not all, all about the kind of arranging and judging and using numbers and letters, as you know, because I don't rate beards. But it, it, it's tasty. It's nice. I like it. It's it, it's absolutely delicious. It's just missing something for me. And I think that something is a little bit of kind of personality, a little bit of soul. Um, it's still really tasty, though. That's the thing. I'm not trying to knock it in any form or fashion. I just want a little bit more from it. I just want a little bit more. But yeah, each sip I get, I get more and more greenness. So that's nice. So it's kind of starting to climb a little bit in my kind of pulling at my heartstrings a little bit more because each sip you get a little bit more hop, a little bit more hop greeniness to the point where I'm now getting like a little bit of the kind of uh, positive kind of hot burn vibe off of it. Mm. Tasty. 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 I think I judged it a little too harshly. Each step I'm taking, I'm liking it more and more. And that's kind of the thing when it comes to these reviews. The one thing I wish I could do, which I really can't do half the time, is sit with a beer for a very long time. Sometimes a, a beer can, sometimes needs a little bit more time than what we and a YouTube community kind of give it. Some people go back and revisit the beers. I wish I could do that. I don't have the time. But um, it's more of a visceral kind of initial reaction thing. And uh, I think this is growing on me a little bit. So I'm maybe kind of spitting that kind of second tier level, that kind of equilibrium kind of level of uh, hot juiciness, you know, just below your treehouses and trilliums of the world. Yeah, I think I might just do that. So yeah, uh, uh, listen, it's tasty. It gives me the fruit the way I want it in that kind of juicy realm, not that candied realm. The green is getting bigger and bigger and bigger in every sip, and that really is where my heart and soul lies with a lot of these kind of new school New England style IPAs. And the mouthfeel is quite nice. It's more fluffy and creamy. It's just below that super water nerdy point, but at the same time, it's pretty tasty. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better Hazebro Hop Thotty kind of beers that I've had as of late in the single IPA realm? Yeah, actually it is. Um, just, you know, there's ones that have been better for me, but you know, after a couple sips, it's kind of winning me over more and more. So definitely going to put it in the conversation. Uh, but down at the top. Um, vague availability, don't know. Maybe somebody can chime in on that, whether it be Jim or somebody else who actually knows the whole sloop thing. I assume it's brewery only and anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks a four pack because that's the way the world works now. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like the haze, baby. I mean, that's kind of where this beer lands. It does have a bit more um, nuance than the general methadone level, run-of-the-mill kind of beer to it. But it's also, you know what I mean, not in my opinion and what I like in beer is just below exactly where I like my New England style IPAs to reach. Is that a little bit too cryptic? Sure. But if you watch all my videos, it probably makes sense to you. So there you go. Uh, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't anywhere in between down there, words and stuff and things, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped, massive beers, all four of those places. If you want to check this dude out somewhere else, podcast to do that too. Beermassive.com or go in your favorite podcasting app and type in that B E E R. Is an extra E in there? I don't know. M-A-S-S-I-F dot com. Or you can drop the dot com in the podcast. Anyway, find it. Listen to it. Rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And There you go. Uh, a little bit of beer reviewing. A little bit of plugging going on. Seems to be a lot of that as of late. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice Hayesbro beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.